hi you guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're gonna do a stripper story time i'm gonna say like two stories two crazy things that have happened to me at the strip club and then just i was gonna say another two so we have chips the new takis waves chips this is my first time trying them but just i was raving about them so i had to try them too and we put limon in them so if i seem a little like spicy during the video it's because i haven't had chili in a while and i feel sensitive to spices right now so i don't know if i've ever said this story on here i don't think i have huh on the podcast i said it on my podcast before um but i never have said it on my main channel so basically my first craziest stripper encounter. experience encounter story okay so basically i was dating this guy for about how long was i dating him and i hadn't told him that i was dancing only like two months because you you started dancing right when you met him Okay, so I had met this guy, and then I started dancing, but I didn't tell him that I was a dancer. And my biggest fear was him finding out, and for some reason, I just could not get myself to tell him, just because I felt like he would have never accepted it, and he didn't want to be known as dating a stripper, or like, like having a girlfriend as a stripper, or whatever. And so I was super, super ashamed of him ever finding out that I was a dancer. And I was planning on telling him, but just every time that I wanted to bring it up it was just like it just couldn't happen for me i don't know like i couldn't have i couldn't find the words to tell him like this is what i do and like he would kind of question it and i and kind of be like how are you like buying certain things and like how are you affording no. a certain lifestyle and then um he would be like when do you work because you yeah. worked at a restaurant and then he would go or his yeah. family would go and like oh they never see you there and yeah she'd be like, I know and then so before becoming a stripper I was a waitress at this restaurant he would go to that restaurant often actually we met at that restaurant that's where we met <laughs> and it was crazy because he was like well, like I don't see you at work blah blah and I was like well uh. and I think he believed it for a little bit but after a while I think it just got too much to where it's like okay obviously you're lying yeah. so I think he did his research and basically one night I'm working Oh my god, this is the worst thing ever. Okay, I remember this day specifically. We were both in the back and you went out before me. No, no, no. We were already outside, me and you. You you were talking to a, fr a friend and I was talking to the other one. And you were really in the combo with the guy. And I looked to the back and I'm like, oh my god, he had a brother. I'm like, that was yeah. a, an awful lot like his brother. Yeah. And then I'm like, he's the guy sitting next to someone. I'm like, that looks a whole lot like, so it's like Peter. Yeah. Let's say his name's Peter. And I'm like, Wait. We're gonna name my ex Peter. I'm like, oh my god, it is Peter and his brother. And so I go and I told her, I'm like, look over there. So we're like, mm -hmm. like, probably like 500, how many? Oh, like 200 feet away from them. But they yeah. were already looking at us. And when I looked at Peter's brother, he was already looking at me. Oh my god, it was so bad because, like, imagine your boyfriend's brother looking at you in lingerie but like basically butt ass naked why would you bring his brother why would you bring your brother that's so awkward for me and obviously for him and like it, the situation was just really weird i don't know I, I i know that maybe you could think like okay but like a bunch of other men are seeing you like in lingerie yeah. but it's like your brother i don't know i thought it was kind of weird and i remember her telling me oh my god is behind you nope. Oh shit, I'm gonna cut that out. Okay, Peter. I remember her telling me, oh my god, Peter is behind you. And I was like, no. Like, I thought she was kind of joking at first. I was like, this has to be some type of sick joke because no way that he knows that I'm here. Like, we had just been texting prior to that and I had told him that I was painting my room with my mom. Like, a really detailed lie. So, I was like, no way. Like, we were good. Like, we're texting. I know where he's at. He knows where I'm at, supposedly. So, like, no. And she's like, no, like, look behind you. But I did not have the guts to look behind me. So I just start squatting down. I start going like this. <laughs> I remember now. Literally, I start going like this. And then I was with a customer. We're not a customer, but, like, I was talking to someone, this guy who I wanted to get a dance with. And he was like, what's going on? Like, why are you going to the floor? And I was like, my ex -boy my ex -boy my boyfriend is here and... um." Like, he doesn't know that I dance and I don't know what to do. Like, I didn't know if he had seen me yet. I didn't know if he was there because, like, he wanted to be there. I didn't know if he was there because he knew I worked there. I was just really confused. I was like, oh, my God. Like, what's going on? So, basically, I finally, like, get the guts to go up to him and obviously ask him, like, what the fuck are you doing here? 
So I go up to him and he's like, silence. And I'm like, what are you doing here? And he's like, silence. Oh and I'm like, God. stop, talk to me, like say something. Like, what do you mean? You're like, you're not speaking. I was like so frustrated. And so basically I start crying and I'm like, what like, well now you know, like this is where I work. Like, I don't know what you want me to do about it though. Like, obviously you're clearly upset. And he's like, I'm just mad that you lie. Like, why do you have to lie to me? Blah, blah. And I was like, I know I lied, but like, I was gonna say it just like not right now and i don't know i think obviously now from what i know like obviously i have a whole youtube channel about it anyone who dates me in the future is gonna know and i'm gonna be super open about it but at that time i didn't tell anyone i we didn't have a youtube channel talking about it or anything so no. it was kind of like my secret you were 18 too i was also 18 um at the time i was really ashamed of what i did so like being a dancer i thought it was like the worst thing you can do i was yeah. like oh my god like this is so bad like i can't believe i'm doing this but and especially i kind of knew how he saw dancers so i didn't want to tell him i just he didn't give me that trust to be open with him and just be like yeah this is what i do so basically i tell him yeah like this is what i do blah blah and he just walks away and he leaves and that was the first time he came in. So the second time he came in, bro, it was like a two in one. That was you messed up the story. We were sitting like I was sitting next to him. What? I was sitting next to him and I didn't notice. I was like, no, yeah, I don't know what you. <laughs> well, bro, I always do them first. Always... She always sees them for me first. So basically, after that time, okay, so after the first time that he left. And I want to apologize if we're not the best storytellers because yeah. we don't do storytelling for a living, okay? Mm. We're vloggers. Oh, we it. Yeah, and I kind of ramble, but stick with me. You know what it was, I think? I think I had promised him that I wasn't going to go back and that I wasn't going to dance anymore, but I was still dancing. He's like, promise me you're not going to dance. Yeah, that's what it was. I'm pretty sure. That's it? And he came in to see if I was dancing. Oh Obviously, my God. I was because like, what the hell? Um and this time it's way worse so oh. this time he comes in and he gets a dance from another girl and i'm like shook obviously i don't know what to feel i'm radiating with anger um because that's not his job like he should not be doing that second of all like i know this girl like i've talked to her like she's like not my friend but i'm like acquaintance. her acquaintance and we've talked about like surgery and like weird little details so it's like i just thought that was really weird so I was like, what do I do in the situation? He's here. He knows I work here. He's obviously doing this out of spite. And I was like, I'm going to just dance with someone in front of him. Like, I'm going to go to... Because they went to the <laughs> VIP. And I was like, I need to see what they're doing in the VIP. What the fuck? Like, what? And so I grabbed this random dude. Like, this is random. And I'm I like, went to. I was like, I'm going to give you a free dance. I was like, but just come with me to the VIP. I'm not going to charge you anything. He's like, bet. Like, for sure. And then, so I take him to the back and then he's like um he's like oh like whatever like i can go to dance i'm like yeah yeah just like sit shush and then i stand i sit right across from him and You're he brave, starts bro. laughing like he thinks it's funny and i'm like this is not funny like i'm literally radiating with anger. i'm like what are you doing here like you're making my heart my job 10 times harder like this does not need to happen right now like you're childish like that was her vibe yeah and so I tell the girl, so the girl starts asking him, why are you laughing? Because as soon as I... And they're your girl laughing, huh? Yeah, as soon as I start dancing in front of him, he starts laughing. And then he, she's like, why are you laughing to him? And then I tell her, I tap her. And she I'm was like, facing you? Or no? She wasn't facing you me. Tap, oh. But I did tap her. I was like, he's laughing because he's my boyfriend and he thinks it's funny to get a dance in front of me. That's oh exactly God. what I told her. And she was like, Brave. is that your girlfriend? Like girl ever since then ever We've since never this spoken time to her i haven't spoken to her since it's been years i thought it was weird a little bit that she like took his side automatically and not mine because like girl i work with you i'm your co-worker like you're never gonna see this guy again trust me mm -hmm. he's never gonna come in he doesn't even like going to the strip club so i told her that and she asks him um is that true is that your girlfriend and he was like no i don't know her she's crazy i heard her i heard him say that oh, wait, wait, wait. and i was like Ugh! obviously Guy. She, like, sides with the customer and, like, believes him or whatever. And she's like, do you want us to move? Like, like acting like I'm fucking I would, insane. I would be like, is he really your boyfriend? And then, yeah. But why would a girl, why would you lie? And you're not someone who's known to her to be lying. So no. Why would you make that up? And it's like, I don't know. It was just weird. And then she's like, um, like, 
I, like yeah like let's let's we can move like to another booth so then they move to another booth obviously i can't see what they're doing anymore so i'm like pissed and i'm like tell the guy to get up i'm like we're leaving and then i just walk away and then we left right i go into the locker room and i was crying remember oh, yeah. and she like came in with me to the bathroom she's like it's okay like he's just like doing this because he's like childish like blah blah, blah. i was like, like I'm like, he's, he's so, so annoying. Why is he like, here? Oh, and we asked the security to remove him, huh? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Um, I'm like, removed. what can I do to get him out of here? Like, I'm done with him. Like, no. I'm, after this, I'm never talking to him again. It's just too much pressure. I can't take it. Like, I'm going to keep dancing, and I don't want to keep lying, so he just got to go. he didn't have to dance with someone else. He didn't that have he to dance with someone else. That's, I think that's crossing the line, and he didn't know if that girl was my good friend at the club. Mm -hmm. Like, he didn't know. Like, that's just weird. I think because he wanted to give you a taste of your own medicine. Like, you mm -hmm. dance with guys, so how about I dance with the girl? Yeah. But it's not the same. Which I get it. But it's not the same. But it's not the same. You're getting paid. You yeah. came and you paid her. You're, yeah. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. And so, I tell the security. I start crying to the security. I'm like, that's my boyfriend. And he I'm wants to come and sabotage me. And stalk me and he's insane and so the manager goes up to him he's like bro you gotta leave like you're making one of the girls uncomfortable and usually the securities will side with the girls especially if i tell them that that's my boyfriend and he's coming and like stalking me they're gonna remove him so mm -hmm. i told him and then they made him leave and i think he got a little embarrassed believe it or not after this toxic ass relationship we try to make it work even after this which obviously the relationship is done for but we still talked for a little bit after and then we decided that i decided well we both decided that that was never gonna work out so <laughs> it was time to part ways and obviously a single life's treating me good <laughs> single life is treating me good as fuck so now i don't have to worry about no one and if you're a stripper not that i recommend if, if your situation is good then obviously i recommend you like being happy and doing whatever you want like staying in a relationship but if your relationship is deteriorating because of stripping like mine was you need to choose like your happiness and if your happiness is working and like making your money then i would say go with that mm -hmm. or if your happiness is your boyfriend or whatever then i mean i'm not here to judge you know then choose that but i feel like sometimes you just have to choose yourself, choose yourself and your happiness and what you want to do for me i knew that if i stayed with him i was just gonna honestly not fulfill what i wanted like why can't i strip like it's just what i want to do like i don't feel like anyone should have you like scared Rest to me. do something or um he did give me the choice like either we'll be together or no. stop stripping <laughs> and i was like well bye well then i'm gonna go i'm gonna go i'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. Nar. Nar. Go. Nar. 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 I feel like I've learned the most lessons with this person. And I honestly thank him for teaching me the most lessons. He taught me a lot of things. And I feel like I grew a lot within that relationship. Okay, now you say your story. But now that you know what, my story is going to be kind of short. That's fine. Okay. I, okay. Can we give a shout out to Emma Chamberlain? We yeah. love Emma Chamberlain. We want we want to meet her. She mm -hmm. is everything. And I got um, inspired to tell a story because of her because if you guys watch the podcast we did a story time and Sarah was asking me to tell a story and I didn't want to mm -hmm. I got embarrassed but Emma you guys watched her recent podcast was talking about a similar situation so I'm gonna talk about it so that day you weren't there Sarah mm -hmm. wasn't there like no Loki like no this is a funny one so I that day was eating a lot of stuff and I was mixing coffee I don't know like everything coffee chip like this meal this meal coffee chips a bunch of chips and I remember that that day also, I forgot to on Starbucks to on Starbucks at Starbucks to ask for um, non dairy milk. And you know how I get, I'm like a sometimes. But I didn't start feeling the repercussions of this choice until later <laughs> in the night. And I was already like getting, I had been getting dancing, but I was feeling a little farty. Like I had been farting here and there, here and there. And when we're at work, we always fart, but since there's a lot of people, we just walk away and no, they're silent farts, so no one knows it's us. So it was like they smelled really bad, but no one really knew. So I was, yeah, being really gassy. And I was with this guy, and then we got a room, basically. Yeah, room. So I'm dancing, and I'm like, and it's already, we're, no, look, it's barely into the dance. Uh -huh. And I'm wearing a black bodysuit, luckily with black. And, Ew. <laughs> and, okay, <laughs> oh my god, it's literally so funny. Like, I'm like married, like, me as a 21-year-old woman, like, why this happening? Because uh -huh. this was recent, was it recent? Kinda, yeah. It was before my birthday, I was 20. It was like uh for like 
seven months ago, six months ago. Okay, so I'm giving a dance or whatever, and I'm like, nee, 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 nee. and then all of a sudden I'm like, it's not like shit in here. I was like, <laughs> she blames it on the guy. <laughs> so I, yeah, I was like, what the fuck is that smell? So I was like, let me investigate. Like I'm gonna like figure it out. So I'm like trying to like look like smell him, his like crotch area, kind of like not like directly, but like to investigate. I'm like, he doesn't smell. Like he doesn't. And then I was like, you know what? Like I don't. <laughs> i had been farting but silently and i would fart when i would like stand up so i, I wasn't farting on him and i was like okay i'm gonna you're so to considerate bed. babe I'm gonna have to you're so it. considerate <laughs> i stand up in front of you when i fart so i was like i'm gonna have to investigate so i go like this right and i'm like touching my butt and when i put look put my fingers i had something and i was like what is that and it was it was like, like watering. <laughs> oh, like, nar. No, I'm like, not. And he didn't notice because I remember. Wait, it was did. a piece of poop? It was like a shark. Like a sh like Kugel. Cool it, it but was. it wasn't that watery, luckily. So it was just like a piece. Anyways, so I'm like, it's really gorgeous. So I'm like, I literally cannot touch anything right now. I got shit <laughs> on my hand. And, and think about it, it stinks. So anything I put in, like, shit on your hand stinks. So like, <laughs> I'm going to be right back. Okay. <laughs> to the bathroom i had to wash all my hands i had to throw the outfit away <laughs> and i put something new on and like wash myself and then i went back and then he didn't say anything he didn't say like damn nothing i was like i'm gonna be right back okay can you use the restroom i don't know what i didn't know I, I didn't want to even bring a restroom i was like I'm, i was like i forgot something mm -hmm. and he didn't question me yeah and then i came back and i kept doing the dance little side note my mom always tells me that <laughs> guys are attracted to stink like stink like Stitch. like pheromone woman like so like maybe like a slight armpit smell <laughs> but a shit a slight fart i don't know that was literal shit though literal shit smells like shit yeah i'm surprised he didn't tell me different. i'm thinking he just was nervous too nervous to tell me yeah like you smell like shit like it literally smells like shit you shit yourself and i did i did shit myself i did <laughs> i did babe <laughs> i did, shit I, did. So, so I, I forgot my second story so she's gonna say and maybe you'll remember another funny story and if i remember then i'll say my other story but if not this video is already kind of long so we'll stick to hers but hers is pretty funny <laughs> okay so let me tell my story there was a time i was working a double i love this story when she told me this story <laughs> i was like <laughs> and she didn't believe you weren't there you were all you never remember when the, when the things happened she wasn't there that day and I was telling her that this that I was I had already made a decent amount because I had worked a double and it was already like one thirty bro like time to go to sleep and I was like oh, I want to go but this guy was like oh can we get a dance and I was like okay so I'm like whatever fuck it we'll a little more bread so we do one VIP which is five songs and then he wants to keep going so he's like I'm like oh you want to keep going he's like yeah can we do another one? so now we're at two hundred I'm like okay well two hundred what's another two hundred and I was like, oh, it's But keep in mind, you, you didn't ask for the money up front. No, at that time, be, you all better know I learned my lesson. Mm -hmm. Then I'm like, you want to keep going? He's like, yeah. So now we're at 300. And I, I told her, I was like, dude, I was so tired. I didn't even care anymore. At this point, I've done 15 songs. And there was a time where I would hella dance. Yeah. Like, I would do everything. So I was like, um, I was like, oh, it's 300. Like, I need to go. I was like, I'm not even going to continue. I don't care. And he's like, oh, okay. So and he wanted to keep going. Keep in mind. Like he, I was like, imagine. I would have been there all night. Dude. It was my goddamn time. Yeah. And then so we walked to the ATM. And then he, we're like, because I'm like, oh, do you have the money? He's like, oh, I have to go. To, I'm like, do you have to go to the ATM? He honestly didn't seem very sure, but I was like, whatever. And he's like, yeah. So we walked to the ATM. And then he pulls out a lot of cards. And then he's like, tries, he's like, pulls out a card. And then he puts it in. He's like, it's not taking it. So I'm like, let me see. And there was a Subway gift card. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't catch on. So I'm like. But, whoa, I was like, maybe he's drunk. I was like, well, that's a gift card. <laughs> he's like, trying to put the gift card in the ATM. Yes. And kidding. then I'm like, you can't put that in there. I'm like, that's not for it. Like, do you have a, a card? I thought he was drunk. He's like, no, I don't. And he's like, no, no, he didn't say anything. He's like, oh, sh sh sh. and then he darts out the back door. You know where they're, right? The door right there. He darts oh, out. that one? That's crazy. <laughs> no, like, the he was like, oh, uh, uh, damn him. And then he started out. And I'm like, the woman was too stunned to speak. I was like, you know what? Bananas. I'm going to sleep. I was like, I should have never not asked the money back. But I was <laughs> shook. Y'all best believe I have not gotten scammed ever since. Yeah. Ever. No. I was like, I should have known. I just, and then think about it. Like, who goes? I was like, I should not have danced for like $300. And then yeah. not asked for the money. But, um yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed our little I, if i felt like this went by really fast but we're already on 27 minutes so uh -huh. i'll see you guys 
in my next video thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys later bye